Hello, hello everybody. And so I've been thinking of better ways to do water changes. Sometimes when I do water changes non-stop, it's about seven or eight hours for as many tanks as I have. I've been using the Python water changing system just as it was sold and intended to be used as. And another problem is my water and sewer bills have been astronomical holy crap so I just did all the tanks in there in that area in there there are eight 40 gallon breeders and 10 20 gallon longs and I changed all that water in about two hours and 20 minutes that room normally takes me oh I would say about three and a half hours, four hours maybe. So, and I just did it in about two hours and 20 minutes. So, here's what I've done. The ultimate Python upgrade. What we have here, we have a Python hook. A piece of one inch OD three quarter inch ID vinyl tubing that I had to heat up and stretch the heck out of to fit over this. Two stainless steel clamps and an Eco Plus, I believe the model is 396. Little pump here does a pretty good job, it's not too ridiculously big and I got it reaching down about as far as I need it to reach down. That's what, well, yeah, that's what that tubing is for to make it reach down a little bit deeper and to connect it. Then we have what it come with. Oh, and something I didn't talk about on there. We have quick connects. Quick connect on there. Quick connect on there. There's also a quick connect. This is the main hose that goes to the sink. And there's the female quick connect side. And then we have the second hook to fill the water. And with this, the eco, this actually is something I, you can tell it's kind of not screwed in straight. But I was looking for a way to diffuse the water out of this. I know you can do it with aqua clear intake tubes and I looked and looked and couldn't I thought I had one laying around and I didn't and then I was looking through these parts that come with these extra attachments that come with this eco plus 396 pump and I was looking and trying to figure out a way to get it in that do something with because it, it has all kinds of different attachments for that pump but I found this and this pivots all the way around and it has a little screen in there to break up the water so you're not just shooting a jet of water across your tank making tornadoes and stuff so and then if you need vacuum you have the original one so when all right i don't know if i'm gonna be <laughs> get this okay i'm gonna have to figure out a different way to video all right, so let's we'll see if this works. Say so I want a vacuum siphon. I have this little nail in there to keep baby shrimp from getting up in there. Let's go. Boop. Oh, it's gonna make a light. Okay, quick connect on there. Ready to fill up. On there. And then the same thing goes with the pump. Ready to pump the water out, pump it out. So, now that I showed you all the good parts, and so that everyone who don't want to hear me babble on, I'll show you all it in action. All right, I just started the pump. And she is getting pumped out into the sink. And the sink attachment is the 
exact same way as the, just the factory installed it just pumps it out through that got it the sink attachments on drain uh, so now we'll sit here and so it is exactly 8.30 when I started it. <coughs> I'm going to do, I usually get to just about to where the sponges are on the filters. And that ends up probably being about a 35-40% mm, water change. 40% water change every week on this tank. So let's I'll see how long it takes. We are now exactly five minutes in. And we're about halfway to where we want to be. Maybe a little bit more than half. But it's going a lot quicker than the traditional Python way, that's for sure. And so we're about to where we want to be at. So the first thing we do is we're going to unplug the pump. And I have my own dedicated extension cord intended just for that. I'm gonna shake off all the dumb shrimp that think they want to ride on this. Shake off all the water. Then we're gonna put that down right there. And then I'll be right back. I'm going to suck the hose dry so we're not just filling in extra water. Well, first I'll show you this. Let's get all the water out of the pump. To do this, uh, hold that down like that. And then it should just slide off, which is way, way easier to do. When you're not videoing. Okay, then we'll hang that right there. And then, oh shit, there's a little bit of water coming out. And now we're ready for the field one. Hold on a sec. Alright, let's try that again. This one, all you gotta do is connect it just like that. Take it off, just like that. Quick connects. I'll show you how the, um, I'll include the link or something. I'll show you how to do it. This is the fill line. And notice we can, any way we want to direct the water, we'll direct the water. So you, you can shoot it in the corner somewhere or somewhere where it's not gonna mess your plants or something up, I'm just going to shoot it down the side of the tank here. Just like so. Alright, then we're going to go get the water going. I got a four pack of quick connects. There is a quick connect on the sink. And then there's a quick connect for the pump quick connect for the standard hose that come with it and a quick connect for the fill line so that's you need four quick connects and you can get four of those on Amazon I think it was like $13 I'm not sure but I'll put a slide or something in here to show you where you can get it out on Amazon and here she is filling up See all that fitting and that come with the pump. It's not watertight or anything because it's just wedged in there and the threads are grabbed onto it. So I just started screwing it on there. And you got it pointed right off to where it's not going to disturb anything. Filling up. The safe has been added, which is a concentrated powdered form of prime. So we'll see how long this takes to fill up. Been filling up for about two minutes. And here we are. It is pretty much full, just another minute or so, not even that. And it took all of six minutes to fill up. So we're on about a 21 minute deal here. 22 by the time I get it all the way up to the top where I want it. So. 
There we go. Works pretty good. I'm loving it. This is the first time I've done a water change with it. This system on this tank. It worked really good. Hey Python, if you're watching this, here's some ideas for improvements. Especially this thing for the hook. Alright everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.